Daleks had little individual personality and a strict hierarchy. They were conditioned to obey a superior's orders without question, even if these orders resulted in pain or death. Audio. The Curse of Davros, the most fundamental feature of Dalek culture and psychology was an unquestioned belief in the superiority of the Daleks. Other species were either to be exterminated or enslaved, and then exterminated when no longer necessary. The default directive of a Dalek was to destroy all non-Dalek life forms. TV. The power of the Daleks, Dalek, Al. They interestingly tended to project a similar mindset on other species. They found it difficult to understand that humans sometimes destroyed members of their own species, TV, the power of the Daleks, and several Daleks observed that there was something admirable about the Doctor's hatred of the Daleks and intent to wipe them out completely, even if they found it monstrous that this exterminating intent was directed at them. TV, Dalek, Asylum of the Daleks, Into the Dalek, because of their belief in their species superiority, TV, Daleks in Manhattan, Daleks even regarded Daleks whose DNA deviated from their race's standard genetic makeup as their enemies and worthy of extermination, considering these deviant units impure. TV. Revolution of the Daleks. The civil war between the renegade and imperial Daleks was an example of this. Each faction considered the other a perversion despite the relatively minor differences. TV. Remembrance of the Daleks. This belief also meant that Daleks were intolerant of such contamination, even within themselves. TV. Dalek. The parting of the ways. Evolution of the Daleks. Audio. The mutant phase. Despite this, Daleks felt offended by exterminating their own divine hatred, and deviant Daleks would sometimes instead be sent to the Dalek Asylum, should their hatred be deemed pure enough. TV. Asylum of the Daleks. At other points in their history, however, they showed no hesitation to exterminating those they deemed impure. In fact, when a cloned recon Dalek noted it could be purified thanks to its remaining Dalek DNA, a Dalek commander responded by ordering its destruction, proclaiming that extermination was the only purification the Daleks offered. TV. Revolution of the Daleks. Another result of this superiority complex was their complete ruthlessness. This was due to genetic modifications made to the original Kald mutants by Davros. It was because of this that it was nearly impossible to negotiate or reason with a Dalek, and it was this single-mindedness that made them so dangerous. Their reliance on logic and machinery was a weakness, albeit one that they recognized. Daleks considered illogical actions impossible. TV. Destiny of the Daleks. They transferred emotions from other life forms twice, in one case humans, having refined the human factor with the help from the second doctor to create humanized Daleks. TV. The evil of the Daleks. In another instance, they refined slyness from the Exexarchon, cruelty from the Tentrax and insane hatred from the Glerosis. Comic. Doctor Who and the Dogs of Doom. One unintentionally humanized Dalek occurred after it used Rose Tyler's DNA to regenerate after sustaining injuries, involuntarily developing positive feelings. Its traditional Dalek psychology remained, however, and it ultimately self-destructed in disgust. The emotional capacity of Daleks was limited to largely negative emotions, hate being chief among them, as, human, emotions such as compassion and sentimentality were considered by them to be weaknesses. However, they were capable of comprehending these emotions, and often used them to exploit their enemies. A prime example occurred with the lone Dalek in Henry Van Staten's vault. While talking with the Ninth Doctor, the Dalek chose its words carefully hoping to goad the Time Lord into initiating a physical attack on the chained mutant. Later, the Dalek played on an unwitting Rose Tyler's feelings of pity and compassion, leading her to touch its battered casing and restore energy to the near-dead Dalek. TV. Dalek. Additionally, the Daleks used the greed of Theodore Maxtable to make him their ally. However, Daleks never formed permanent alliances. Once their allies outlived their usefulness, they were usually exterminated on the spot. TV. The Daleks' master plan, the evil of the Daleks, audio, the mutant phase, the Ninth Doctor claimed that Daleks were incapable of any emotion except hate, TV, Dalek, and later that they had, removed all emotions, though he speculated there remained, one little spark, of fear somewhere in their DNA. TV. The parting of the ways. However, many Daleks were shown displaying a wider range of emotion, Missy claimed that Daleks used emotions such as hate and anger to fuel their weapons. TV. The Witch is Familiar. 
The cult of Scaro displayed fear of the Tenth Doctor, physically recoiling at the mention of his name, TV, Doomsday, and another Dalek begged River Song in terror for its life. TV. The Big Bang. The Daleks were also capable of anticipation, preferring to wait for their victims to run before exterminating them. TV. The Magician's Apprentice. The Twelfth Doctor believed that if a Dalek's cortex vault were to be deactivated, then it might be possible for a Dalek to experience a wider range of emotions. TV. Into the Dalek. When discussing the comparatively less aggressive mindset of the Daleks who had fought in the Tal Dalek battle, the Seventh Doctor and Bernice Summerfield pondered that several centuries without victims to exterminate had allowed the Daleks' better nature to influence their attitudes. Audio. The Lights of Scaro. According to the Tenth Doctor, Daleks were brilliant scientists and engineers. Pros. Prisoner of the Daleks. According to K9 Mark II's files, the Daleks' chief characteristics were ruthlessness, cunning and implacable resolve. Audio. The Dalek contract. According to the 11th Doctor, the Daleks were the worst thing in all creation. They had no conscience, no mercy, no pity. He claimed that hate looked like a Dalek and that the Daleks' death. TV. Victory of the Daleks. Journey Blue of the Combined Galactic Resistance said a Dalek was a raging lunatic. The Twelfth Doctor described the Cortex Vault stoking the fire of a Dalek's hate as evil refined as engineering. TV. Into the Dalek. Davros considered the Daleks to be single-minded, determined and ruthless. Audio. The Lights of Scaro. Daleks were prone to making blunt, absolute statements and would respond sincerely even to jestful comments. Several Dalek executioners stated that Daleks were patient, supreme, unstoppable, not fair, not worried, and that they did not store stuff, or have friends or managers. TV. Eve of the Daleks. A Dalek prisoner claimed that Daleks did not capitulate or plead. Pros. Prisoner of the Daleks. A defense drone stated that the Daleks did not make jokes. TV. Revolution of the Daleks. One Dalek, after exterminating a group of fake singing Daleks, insisted that Daleks do not sing. Audio. Jubilee. In the 27th century, Bernice Summerfield described the Daleks as the most evil race the universe ever came up with. Audio. The Lights of Scaro.